Hello everybody, my name's Cody and I've had some people ask me how do I make the webcam or face cam templates as some people like to call them. The little border just around the outside of my webcam which gives it a nice little finishing touch. And it's actually really simple and really easy. So, the first thing you need is you need three pieces of software. You need either PowerPoint or something similar which allows you to insert and edit shapes. You then need a piece of software called paint.net or something similar. Paint.net is actually a free piece of software. I'll leave the link to that in the video description as well. And finally your video editing software which I use Vegas Movie Studio HD. It only costs £20, $30 or if you use After Effects or Windows Movie Maker or whatever you use that's fine too. So the first thing you need to do is to open up your video editing software. I've already gone ahead and done that and insert your gameplay. The reason I like to do this is to simply look at the gameplay and think what colours does the game use and where will I be putting the webcam? So we've got Division, Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Black Ops. So in the Division it uses soft past light colours and I'd say up here in the top right just below the experience bars is probably the best place to put it. Down here looks good, but the character does sometimes block it, as you can see. That was a pretty good guess. And orange is quite a theme in the division as well, so that might be the colour that I'll go with. In Battlefield 4, the top left is definitely the best place to put the webcam. And it uses bold colours, bright colours like this electric blue as well. And finally in Black Ops, Past the light colours once again, uses a lot of greys and um, top right is probably where I'll put that as well, although there is quite a lot on screen. Okay, so just minimise that and the next thing we want to do is open PowerPoint or whichever software you're using to insert the shapes and we're just going to delete that, yep I know it's expired, there we go and it's very very important that you make the slide size the same as your webcam so if your webcam records in 4x3 choose standard and if it records in widescreen like mine does then choose this one here as well and then we're just going to go insert and shapes choose a simple rectangle to start with and just use that to make the background color so I'm choosing black with no outline. This allows me a little bit more control instead of simply choosing design and doing it this way. So once we've got the background colour which is going to have to be either white or black then we can start playing around with it and making the template. So the rectangle shapes they're, they're pretty decent. These uh, frames and corner pieces are really good as well. So what I'm going to just quickly do is I'm just going to control C and control V I'm going to make one for the division, one for Battlefield, and one for Call of Duty, for example purposes. So for the division, I'm just going to choose some corner pieces. In fact, I'll choose this one, like so, and just adjust this. And shape fill, I'm going to choose orange because that's a theme in the division. You can also use the eyedropper if you're f familiar with um, the eyedropper and no outline. Spend some time doing this, play around with it. It is quite fun, at least I find editing to be quite fun. And just play around with it a little bit until you get what you like as well. So I'm just going to do this and I'm just going to simply make some corner pieces. Please bear with me. There we go, and it's as simple as that. So with Battlefield, I think I'm going to go with, hmm, I think I'll choose this one here. Let's drag that out a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to choose the border to be electric blue, so I need the inside to be black. No outline. Clicking on the border. I'm going to make that 
electric blue. You can also, if you have PowerPoint, you can go into shape effects, go into bevel or bevel, however you say it, and give it some 3D depths as well, like so. Although I actually think simple is often better. So I'm just going to leave that as a 2D. And finally for the Call of Duty one, let's have a quick look. I think I'll go with like a... Maybe a soft blue or a grey. Yeah, I'll go with a grey. Insert shapes. I'm just going to go up with a full border template for this one. Something simple. Like so. And shape fill. I'm just going to go grey with no outline. But because the grey is similar to the black, what we actually want to do is we want to have the inside as white. And I'll tell you that the reason for that in just a moment. So there we go, we've got one for the division, one for Battlefield and one for Call of Duty. So file and save as. There we go. And we want to make sure that it's going to save as a PNG file format. If you were to save it as a JPEG, it will not work. So PNG. And you can see there's one I made earlier. I'm just going to delete that. There we go. So template and click save. In fact, rename that just one. There we go. And all slides. There we go, that's done. Now we're going to open paint.net and we're going to simply make the background transparent. So file and open. And I'm going to do this three times as well, so please bear with me. And they're ones that I made earlier. And where are we? There we go. So we've got slide one which is the one for the division and we're going to click tool in the top left go down to magic wand click on the middle and there we go and then simply hit delete on your keyboard like so and you can see it's made these black outlines just on the edge here as well which is a little bit annoying just on the top and down here so if I just undo that I'm going to bring up the tolerance a little bit about 60% and that should there we go and that's deleted the black line as you can see that's now gone so I can simply cancel out of that and close because that'll save it or you can go into file and save as make sure it's saving as a PNG I'm just going to overwrite that file there there we go and I'm going to do that for the Battlefield one and the Call of Duty one as well, so please bear with me. You can also skip ahead if you wish. So once again, Tool, Magic Wand, click on the black and delete. I've got a little bit of a black line there, although it probably won't be that noticeable. So I'll just save that. And once again for the Call of Duty one, File, open, there we go, tool, magic wand, and delete. You have to be careful when using a white background though because you might not actually be able to see the white on the inside. So I would actually recommend a tolerance of about 55% or higher. There we go. And that's all three of those done. So opening back into the um, editing software, I'm just going to bring those three in and stretch them along like so. There we go. Nearly done. That's it, but as you can see, that's covering the full screen and we don't want that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click the event pan crop button, which um, 
it might be renamed something different if you're using a different piece of software but all this really does is changes the, uh, the aspect ratio and size on screen as you can see so I'm just going to drag that out making it smaller and then move it up into where I want it which is just about here and for the battlefield one I'm going to do the same but I'm going to put it in the top left you don't want it too big and you don't want it too small so play around with it make sure you get it just right and for the Call of Duty one as well you can do things fancy as well when you're creating your template as I said simple is often better there we go so now we need the webcam as well so I'll just open that up there we go and there's a piece of webcam footage that was previously done I'll just get rid of that this is just for example purposes so we don't need that and you can see my webcam is full screen as well so the next thing we need to do is make this the same size as the webcam we can go into the event pan crop button again and do it this way but if you're using Sony Vegas Movie Studio or anything similar you can actually right click the uh, template click copy and then right click on the webcam and click paste event attributes and this will make it the, the exact same size there we go as you can see but as you can see here as well the layers are all wrong so you need to make sure the template is above the webcam layer so it's gameplay then it's webcam and then it's your template and as you can see there that's how it looks on screen personally I would probably adjust that to make it a bit smaller because it looks like it's taken up a little bit too much on the screen but it looks okay it looks looks like a nice little finishing touch so if I just go ahead and do that again for the battlefield video the webcam there we go and once again right click on the template copy right click on the webcam video and paste event attributes that'll make it match the exact same size there we go and finally for the call of duty one as well right click on the template click copy right click on the webcam paste event attributes and that'll put that in there as well and you can see that kind of matches the, um, the little metal things that you get in game there we go and so there we have it so that's as simple as that really I hope that video made sense if you've got any questions whatsoever please comment in the co comment section I'll do my best to help if you don't want to actually make one I will leave um, a link in the video description to um, a file sharing website which I'll I'll do some pre-made templates for you as well so you can download those and use those if you wish but uh, that's about it once again thanks for watching if this video did help then please hit that like button and as always it's been a pleasure and thanks for watching cheers